what's up everybody at America's Best Restaurants. It's Luis again, back with another episode of the places you need to eat at on a weekly basis. Today we're in Indianapolis, Indiana at a restaurant called Bluebeard. We're here with Chef Patrick. So Patrick, tell me, what is Bluebeard? Bluebeard is a uh, contemporary American restaurant kind of focus on European flavors and we are kind of have free reign to do whatever you want. Nice. Um, so it can be Asian, Italian, French, uh, Middle Eastern, but it's kind of whatever we want, whatever is in season, whatever tastes good. That's awesome. So, yep. have you, so you have your own little sandbox yep. to play with. Yeah. That's great. So in every episode, we feature three things you need to have when you come here. What are we having, chef? So uh, our, I'd say our staples are uh, our spaghetti okay. uh, with creme fraiche is number one. Okay. Number two would be our uh, cauliflower bagna cotta. Okay. And then uh, for dessert, I would always I would always go for the uh, bread pudding. It's cool. just our go-to warm, homey. You know, can't miss out on it. Love it. Well, you heard it here, and I know you're watching because you're hungry. So why don't you come with me, Chef Pat? Let's go check it out. All right, everybody, we are back. And I know in the intro we said three things, but you know what? Sometimes we have people that are overachievers, like here, like Chef Pat and Chef Pat. So first of all, before we get to the food, can you tell me the story of Bluebeard? Like, how did this place come to be? So Bluebeard was uh, founded around 2012. Okay. But before that, two years before that, 2010, uh, Amelia's was kind of like the forefront of this area. Okay. There's not a bakery in this area. They wanted kind of like an old world kind of feel, uh, more of the Italian side of okay. uh, baking instead of the French. So Charlie McIntosh and the Batistas um, bought the property uh, on Virginia and uh, started the bakery. And then that's kind of our sister restaurant right now. Um, and kind of like the, uh, the landmark of where we are now. Bluebeard was founded two years after that okay. uh, with Chef Abby. She's a proprietor. She partnered up with the Batistas, started Bluebeard, and it, it was in a predominantly Italian neighborhood. Okay. So this was a contemporary Italian restaurant in the beginning. Okay. Now I would call it more of like a, uh, just a contemporary restaurant. We don't just focus on European food or Italian okay. food. We can do Indian, Asian, oh, okay. uh, European, uh, but it's all kind of European, uh, Inspired? Inspired, yeah. but also like the technique and the product. Kind of gotcha. Gotcha. Yep. Okay. Now, with local flavors too. Right. Now, to execute this type of calorie food, what is your background? I got to know that. My background is uh, French based. Okay. Uh, so you're from uh, Classically Trained? Classically Trained That's cool. in Chicago. Okay. Um, and then I've uh, I've always had a, an obsession and a fascination <laughs> with Italian food. Okay. And kind of Mediterranean food uh, for my family. Um, and it's kind of, I take the French technique and background and I also kind of like put in my Italian kind of twist. Oh, By okay. no means my Italian. It's just kind of what I've always put your spin on it. Pasta is my thing. It's okay. the thing that I always look for in any kind of restaurant. Um, but it also comes down to produce and the availability and what's the freshest for that produce. Nice. nice. So, well, that's a great segue because you talked about pasta. Pasta is your canvas, so to speak, right? Talk to me. Starting with this, what do we got? We've got a uh, spaghetti that we do kind of a, um, a light sauce of creme fraiche. So it's not extremely hot by any means, but it's a um, sauce of creme fraiche, chili flake, garlic, remoulade, parmesan, and um, extra virgin olive oil. So it's light. It's refreshing. It's not super heavy. That's awesome. That's so. And we good. got a little bit of acid just to kind of cut all the, the richness of the fat. That's really good. Yeah. Really good. What is this? And then this is our uh, beet salad. So uh, most people, when they think of beet salads, it's just going to be beets and some kind of garnish. 
This is mainly a uh, mixed green salad okay. with um, roasted beets that we roast in house, uh, expert olive oil, salt, uh, aromatics, uh, a little bit of vinegar, and we dice them up, mix them with our spring mix. Um, do a truffle vinaigrette, a little shallot, truffle oil, um, champagne vinegar, and then the garnish is uh, a little bit of feta cheese, okay. uh, crispy shallots that we fry, and um, yeah, it's kind of just our um, it's our go-to. It's perfect for summer, fall, winter, spring. It's just like so all year all around. It's a workhorse nice. kind of a salad. Nice. Now let me ask you: since you mentioned a lot of different items that go in here, what is the most interesting ingredient you've ever used to cook with? Ooh, that I've ever used? Yeah. I'd say in Chicago, uh, I would have to say probably Batarga. Okay, what is Batarga? I'm well, not familiar Batarga with is gray mullet roe. Okay. It's basically the um, the egg sac from a gray mullet fish. Okay. okay. And then it's air dried, and then it's usually encapsulated in wax. Okay. It's super funky, super fishy, but okay. it's awesome when you grate it. Okay. And uh, there's just a classic dish that you would do extra in the olive oil. Okay. Uh, batarga, shave over it in the sauce. Okay. So it gives uh, it a little... all batarga is kind of like the classic thing, but it's, it's the essence of like the sea and kind of like what you can do with um, curing a fish pot. Okay, so it gives you like a little umami flavor it's kind of thing? very umami, yeah. Nice. Very umami, That's very cool. fish, but it's very like kind of classic to the old school pres preservation of like Italian okay. kind of food. That's awesome. Yep. That's great. What is this one right here? This is our roasted cauliflower dish. So we uh, we break down the florets of cauliflower. We sear them pretty hard in extra virgin olive oil, a little salt, a little pepper. And then once we get that good color on top, yeah. then we actually um, put a healthy dose of bagna cotta, which is uh, anchovy, herbs, wow. garlic, extra virgin, uh, heavy cream, butter. Uh, and that kind of gives it like a nice kind of fishy, umami, Okay. Coating, flavor, mouthfeel. Mm -hmm. um, we also have capers, which are classic. Uh, pine nuts for a little crunch, and then a um, little gremlata, and then we top it with uh, Parmesan veggie. Okay. And then this one right here. This is our uh, classic kind of our go-to bread pudding. Okay. Um, this is like one of the things that I think if we ever took off, it would it would be a riot. Okay. Uh, people would just flip tables over. So it's just a classic, <laughs> unctuous, um, not overly sweet, but not dry bread pudding. Okay. Uh, we do a little white chocolate kind of sauce on top, uh, a quenelle of uh, chantilly cream, and then little uh, flakes of uh, chocolate, uh, not bitters. Uh, okay. Yeah, chocolate. Just kind of like give that kind of bitter taste. Gotcha. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. And I see that you have three drinks here. What are we looking at? They're right. delicious. They are our mixologist and our our bar program is Oh that's good. Awesome here. Awesome. I mean they they take the classic drinks and they, they elevate it in the sense of right. with the product, the mm -hmm. sourcing of whatever kind of spirit they're using, mm -hmm. and they they just kill it on the execution of it. Properly mixing and that's awesome. Taste, taste. Okay, yeah. so how can people find out more information about Bluebeard? Uh, you can travel to our website. Um, we're on, uh, you can either go to our Amelia's website or Bluebeard website. Uh, we're on Instagram. We're also on uh, Facebook. And uh, you can also look us up on Yelp, Google. So, yeah. Everywhere. Everywhere. Right? Morse everywhere. code, smoke yep. signals. We do not Perfect. take reservations, but uh, it's first come, first serve. Okay. So, if you want to get in here, got to get in here early. There you go. You can also find a full listing for Bluebeard on americasbestrestaurants.com. If you are traveling, very easy to find, huge sign. If you're local, you need to be here on a weekly basis. Try some of these dishes. And that's pretty much it for us. Make sure you support local restaurants. I'm gonna have to sign off because I'm hungry. Also behind the camera's hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat. See you guys on the next one. Cheers. Cheers.